guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful bracelet. I will show you really easy step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make it by yourself. You need seed beads, crystals and bicons. You could find them in most of the beading stores. Okay, and here I use a magnetic clasp. Ok hey guys, and if you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, a link to my store and a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching, now I will start with the list of the materials. Ok guys, so what I'm using for this video are 4 by 6 mm crystals or also called rondelles and these are bicons that are 10 mm and you could use Swarovski or Czech crystals or other brand and these are HO beads, 11 o seed beads this is a golden magnetic clasp this is a nylon thread and this is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters this is size O but you could use size D if you want or a thicker thread uh, and uh, here I use size 10 beading needle scissors and I will put a comfortable length of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Hey okay guys and now I'm going to start beading. I'm taking a bicon, a seed bead, an ato bead, a rondelle, an ato bead again, 11 o seed bead, a bicon, then a seed bead, and an 11 o and here a rondelle and then an 8 o and an 11 o okay don't worry if it's too fast just pause this video like this and take your beads slowly okay and then I'm going to slide all of those down I will stick my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot and I will make my knot by making here a loop and I want to go twice with my tail thread through this loop I've made. I'm showing it slowly just to be able to see it. Okay, then what I want to do is make one more knot here. Okay, one more knot and I'm pulling. Ok guys, and now this is what I have and what I want to do here is go one more time around my element reinforcing it. Ok, now as I'm exiting from this crystal what I want to take are six of these beautiful black beads. Ok, here I have my 6 and I'm going back in circle through this crystal here. Ok, like this. Then I'm going through all of my beads here. Exiting out of my next crystal. And here I will repeat this. I'm going to take six of these beautiful beads here. Okay, I have my six and I'm going back in circle through this crystal. Okay, and now guys this is what I have. Then what I do is that I go here through these first three beads of those that I just added only through the first three of them and here I want to add one golden bead 
I must remind you that you could use um, thicker thread if you want. But now I'm using this one because it is in this beautiful golden color that matches my beads, okay? And I will just reinforce more to make my bracelet look nicer. Okay, then I will go in this direction. And again, I will go through this to through three of these newly added six beads. Okay, and then I will take one golden and I will go in this direction through as many beads as I can. Okay. And now guys, this is what I have. Then I will go here at the end of this element. And I want to show you how to add your clasp, okay? I'm here and I'm taking my clasp. It's magnetic clasp, okay? I'm opening this like that. And I want to take two seed beads, two black beads. And I want to take my clasp like this. Okay, two beads, my clasp, and then two more seed beads. Sliding those down like this. And I'm going back through this one here. Pulling. And when I pull, I have this. Okay. Okay, guys, and now I will go around reinforcing my work. I wanna, I want my clasp to stay really secure. Okay. Okay, and I could repeat this several more times. And when I'm ready, I will continue with my next element, okay? I will go here through all of those beads in this direction. Okay. And my goal is to exit out of this golden bead here at the edge of my work. Okay. And I'm exiting here. If you feel this is loose, just go several times reinforcing it. Hey guys, and now what I want is repeat this element, but I will start from here on. And in order to do this, I will take two black beads, one golden, and I will go here. And now I'm going back in circle through this golden one. And you see here I have something like right angle weave and I will go one more time through this right angle weave okay then I will start my next element okay here I want to take three black beads then I'm going to take one crystal and I'm going to take three more black beads. So this is what I have. And I will go back in circle through this golden bead. Okay. Now I have this. I will flip my work because it's easier for me. Okay. And I'm going through these three beads here. Now I have this and I will start making my next element. Okay. And in order to start it, you see here I have a crystal and after I crystal, I have a black sea bead and then I have a golden eto bead and then I have a crystal and then again golden and black okay 
then after the black I have this type of crystal then I have a black and a golden and after the golden it's time to take black one okay you could you could slide them down to be easier for you okay now I have this and after that one I need a golden and a black one okay I will slide those down as well and you see in fact I have what I had in the beginning a crystal a black seed bead a golden another type of fasted crystal and so on and now when I go back through this crystal here I will have absolutely the same thing like I did in the beginning when I was starting to make my first element okay then what I do is that I go here through all of my beads because I want this element to stay nice and tight okay then when I go here through this crystal I will tighten my work up like this and I will take six black beads okay and I have my six here and I will go back in circle through this crystal like that and then you see everything is so loose now but I'll fix it okay I will go through as many beads as I can in one movement in this direction pulling okay now I'm turning my work this way always turn your work the way it's easier for you okay and I'm going here through all of those beads okay like this and then through the first three of the newly added six beads okay and I will take one more golden like this then I will go through all of those beads in this direction like that and I want to reach the newly added golden bead that I just added and in order to do this I will go through all of my beads here okay turning my work the way it's easier for me and from here on guys I will continue repeating this element the same way I showed you before first add <coughs> black golden black and from here on start this element the same way if your thread is over I have a lot of tutorials where I'm showing how to add a new thread if you don't know how to do this just write me in the comments and I'll link you to this part where I'm adding a new thread okay and I will continue this bracelet and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and when I continue beading this is what I have I made six elements you could make more or less whatever you like and now I'm going to show you how to finish your brace bracelet and at your clasp okay now I'm going to take two seed beads then I'm going to take my clasp and then again I'm going to take two seed beads okay this is what I have here on my needle and I'm going back here through these 
bead in circle like that and now I will go one more time around all of those beads reinforcing my work maybe not one time but probably you could go three times or even more because you don't you want your bracelet to be really nice and tight and secure and now I'm going to make some knots and cut my thread Okay, I will go here in this direction and I will choose a place between two beads to make a knot. Okay, let's say here and I'm making here a loop. I'm going once, then I'm going second time through the loop I've made and I'm pulling. Then I could repeat this several more times and when I'm ready I'm going through the following bead and then I'm cutting my thread and now you see guys my bracelet is ready okay it's easy to make I'm glad yet that you stayed with me until the end Hey guys and now my bracelet is ready so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will find a full list of materials a link to my store and a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.